Happy Tuesday, everybody. Yes, I'm in my role because I didn't have time this morning because I got some hot tea for you. But first, where's all of my gym stars? What's up, everybody? It's your girl, Bree Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Salon, BKA, the People's Champion. We got some hot topics for you guys today, but let me... Hold on, hold on, hold on. Is it tea easy or this is or this is this segment is called Bree with the tea? This Bree with the tea. Bree with the tea. So, if you guys been on the internet yesterday, you seen a lot of trending stuff happening. Lizzo first. So, first, we have Lizzo. We're not going to show the picture for we're, obvious reasons. We're not going to show the picture for obvious reasons. But, we're not, so, this is what I saw. What I saw was, you know, like just a video of Lizzo just, you know, performing with the Lakers girls or whatever. So, last night I heard Jay talking about it. And I'm like, why are they talking about Lizzo? It was nothing wrong with it. So, we was talking about it this morning. And he was like... No, you you didn't see what happened. So he showed me what happened, and I was like, whoa. <laughs> now, I don't care if you are size two, size 22, or way too 22. Th there's a line that you just don't cross and have your buttocks out at a event or a game where there's children and everybody else that you just don't do that that's something you may do at your concerts or in the private of your own home your performing own or show, yeah uh, no, yeah but she performing that's fine because you yeah, know what you're getting into right but not at a basketball game this was a so even if you got a two revealing top that's fine but you can't have a hole cut out for it a hole cut out I mean, the hole was bigger than it Prince, a, you know, those, those, yeah, the Prince, the, butt out the Prince butt out jeans <laughs> or whatever. Even if it was at an award show, like, yeah. that would be fine. Yeah, th that's fine, but not at a basketball game. And this is in no way shaming, you know, body shaming Liz or anything like that. It has, I love her because Jay knows I rock some, her music all the time. Yes. But I mean, great till they gotta be great. I just did the DNA test. But anyway, I know we got to keep going on. So, um, yeah, you just don't do stuff like that. No matter who you are. Like I said, size 2, size 222. Even if, if Beyonce did something like that, I would still be talking about it because you don't do that. Okay, moving on to the next topic. So, yesterday, you know, we talked about the Patriots. Um, it's feeling like they were robbed. But apparently, they have admitted to violating the NFL um, policy and are being investigated about it. So, Bill Belichick said that they had zero involvement in what was going on. That's all their production crew, and they didn't know anything about it. This is not the first time that a... Uh, and they had permission from the Bengals yeah. for a documentary. Yeah, so, so this is not the first time that a video of another NFL team coming up with, you know... Yeah. The Patriots, you know, using to baby like filming, filming stuff like walkthroughs and stuff like that. Like they yeah. filmed the Rams walk through right before the game, the Super Bowl, and beat them. But I don't care about that because we wanted them to beat the Rams back then. You weren't going to beat the Patriots after 9-11 anyway. It just wasn't going to happen. But continue. Okay. So, that's what's going on with that. Okay. And then I think I have one more topic now. <laughs> Y'all going to be ready for this? Mm. Okay. Let me take tea on this one. <laughs> so apparently what's trending yesterday is Nick Cannon uh did a diss, a diss record uh to Eminem. So, you know, I don't really listen to diss records. That's more J scene or whatever like that. So I was like, you know, yesterday what I first saw was like, you know, uh Nick killed Eminem in his diss record. But then this morning I woke up and we see, rest in peace, Nick Cannon, that, that's trending. So we decided to go and listen to the diss record. I ain't gonna lie. Um, after you get past the first minute you, and 30 seconds, after you, Nick Cannon's verse. Yes, because Nick Cannon's verse, he had a few cool things in there or but whatever. But you can't overcome his corniness. Yeah, but yeah, because yeah, all I saw was like wilding out jokes type. Like, if you ever watch wilding out, which I do love the show, but that's what his delivery was kind of sounding like to me. Thank God that he had, uh, what, Hitman? Hitman Holler, Charlie Hitman Clips. Holler. Charlie Clips killed it, though. I yeah. ain't gonna lie. Hitman was fire, but Charlie Clips killed it. Right. So and he, conceded on the verse. <laughs> on, yeah, on yeah. the uh, track. So if you guys uh have listened to the diss record, Drop what you think below about it. You know, did it go hard or, or what? 
Okay, so last thing, I know you guys probably thought we forgot about you, but we haven't. So we're bringing back the comparison of the ladies. So today we're comparing Lala Anthony. My sister. I'm Luda. Luda! Oh, okay. And Lauren Londa. They're the same it's, damn person. It's I mean. new, new. <laughs> What's up, T.I.? It's new, new. <laughs> yeah. So, um, who you guys gonna go with? Um, Lala Anthony, you know, she was in uh, Power, and she was like a, what you calling about, a BJ? What was yeah. the, the, uh, the yeah, art? This, yeah. What was it on MTV? What was it called back a in BJ. the day? VJ. No, the show was the, 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 the RL or TRL or something TRL, like that. Yeah. TRL, yes. And we got Lauren London from like ATL and um, some shows she's playing with on, on BET. Yeah. And some other stuff she was in. I'm going to tell you my pick. I like Lauren Lundell because, you know, we got the dimples. Like, if you zoom in, go back to that. Yeah, yeah. That's my dimple. It, it's somewhere <laughs> open in there. It's in there. But, you know, I just like Lauren Lundell. She just had this whole innocent look to her, and I, I love her dimples. And Lala Anthony is beautiful. She is very beautiful, but I can't get with the uh, enhancements. Augmentations. Augmentations. There you go. Because I really felt like it was unnecessary. She's already beautiful. Like, she didn't need it. And... If you get it, it's fine, but sometimes too much can be too much. And in this case, for me, it's way too much for her. But anyway, drop it down below what you guys are uh, going with. Uh, Lala Anthony or Lauren London. Hit the button, Jay. Lauren London. Oh, my yes. bad, my bad. I'm going to fire you, Jay. Wait, how you going to fire me? This is my show. <laughs> or Lauren London. So drop it down below. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And I'll talk to you guys later. Peace. Get out the seat. I said, get out the seat. Me and my, me and my grandma roll on. Get out the seat. Talking like your grandma talking about you and, and, and looking right at you on the phone. Talking about, mm hmm, look at this damn dumbass boy that got himself in trouble again. Anyway, y'all, y'all let me know which one y'all think it is, man. Uh, Lauren, I mean, Lala Anthony or Lauren London. Lala Anthony. Lauren London. If you can't choose, put both of them, B-O-F-F-U-M, down in the title, and uh, we'll just go with that. I'm going to tell y'all what, though, man. Like I said, like, the enhancements, they cool. Were they overkill? I mean, they ain't really overkill, but it just be like, you know, you didn't need to do it. That's all. I mean, she a beautiful woman, but if she did it for her husband, that's who she did it for. I'm not married to her. And, uh, you know, it is what it is. Uh, let them eat cake. It, I mean, just, let, you know, let them do their thing, man. But, you know, um, empower... I mean, I don't know, man. Is it such? Is it a such thing? It's too much ass. Yes. You think it is? Yes. Do you realize how many problems it's causing some of these ladies? But I mean, but problems away. aside, though, is it a such thing? It's too much ass. Do I got too much ass now? Like I said, the first round of ass and breast augmentations I thought was fine. The second round, I still don't really got that I, much of a problem with. But it does look like too much, like in power when sometimes. It's natural, it's Fine, but okay. when it's augmented, it's too much. Okay, she says it's too much. We still love Lala though, man. I love her to death, man. But you know, I just you? want I just want her to know that she's beautiful. That's my sister. I gotta love her. Uh, but we just want you to know you beautiful. You ain't, you ain't have to do none of this stuff. But hey, if you did it for that, if you did it for that, uh, for your husband, it's all good, baby. It, it, it is what it is. Anyway, trying to get the video. Bridget took up eight minutes. We trying to get it under twelve. You know, we ain't gonna do that. Uh, get it under. We trying to get it under twelve. Uh, T-shirt coming up soon. Check it out. Anthony David and 2K News, this is all we really got right now. This is the morning show, man. It ain't even really 2K News no more. We got to call this something else. Uh, Anthony Davis with the 50 burger. And, uh, you know, we got his moments card coming up and uh, win the game. I mean, see, drop 50. Okay, let me see. Thinking, think, thinking this calls for a moments challenge. Drop 50 with any player and win the game and earn 4,000 VC. Boom, there it is, the moments challenge. They dropping them. Uh, 2K has a moments challenge. So if you play, oh, is that MT? Oh, uh, MT. Boy, none of my player points ain't nothing. 44,000 MT ain't nothing. What you gonna do with that? Buy a shoe or some dog or replenish a contract? Do you even do contracts anymore? But say, hey, anyway, the Anthony Davis moments challenge is out there. Um, That's what they got, man. Um, And, and we're gonna talk about something else in it. Later up, next up, we got from Reddit, the NBA 2K20 Reddit. Uh, somebody tried to tell me that I was not on the NBA 2K20 Reddit yesterday. Yes, yes, I was. And uh, that that glitch that people are doing with the My Player Nation, it is causing people's uh, people's files to get stuck in 100% speed. But don't believe me. Just go do it yourself and don't back your game up and see what happened. Anyway, up next we got Patrick Haskell. I mean, this is this is like somebody sending something to 
uh, 2K support. Patrick has contacted you about an issue he's experiencing with NBA 2K. When he plays the game in the neighborhood, his shots are not hitting as much as he as he likes, I mean, as he thinks they should, even though he's upgraded the applicable attributes and badges. Patrick has noticed, I mean, Patrick has not noticed any other detrimental effects, uh, lag, freeze, whatever. Well, I got news for you. Patrick is trash, okay? That's what that means. If you ain't hitting your shots at this point in the year, when they done turn, they done dial full whites going in all the way up, and they done dial missing full whites all the way back, if you still ain't hit and they done turned it and then to disguise it, they make me, who ties my shot perfectly damn near every time, they make that not be green and it, and it looks like a full white every time, I mean, every now and again, just to try to disguise a little bit of what I hit full whites too. Nah, I know my shot green. My joint almost green. It's just, this is just like 2K18 where either it was green or it wasn't going in. That's how my guy was because my three pointer wasn't high enough. But hey, it is what it is. Look. Somebody asking him, you know, what badges are you rocking? And the other dude says, I can consistently green with a boost with the 69 three-pointer and the right badges. That's true. So that's what I'm saying. Patrick, you need to watch some Jay Easy videos. There will be a jump shot video up tonight. Um, and, and you'll be able to find out a jump shot and all that. Patrick, we, we, we praying for you, my guy. Because if you can't shoot at this point in the year with a shooting bill, uh, it might be time to realize that it's time to make an inside center, my guy, or something like that, or a lockdown defender. Something that's not expected to be able to shoot the ball. Because if you can't shoot the ball at this point in the year, uh, you know, and you are a shooting bill, something wrong with you, my brother. Uh, I'm just letting you know. It is what it is. On to the next thing, man. The last little thing that we got today. Uh, NBA 2K Lab has a video out on the effects of catch and shoot. And they're saying that if you've got a low three-pointer, catch and shoot on bronze is probably all you really want to do. But, um, but... If you um if you got a 90 plus rating, uh then you can do catch and shoot up the Hall of Fame and it and it and it and it's a dramatic difference. Uh, you know, almost a 12% difference or what have you. That's what they're saying. Now, I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I listen to a lot of things that NBA 2K Lab says, and I rock with them guys and I endorse them in every video. I don't know how much I'm gonna listen to that one because I know that my player shoots dramatically different. With, there was there seems to be no difference between catch and shoot gold and catch and shoot hall of fame for me because I got an 83 ball but for and y'all let me know if you got a low 73 did you start shooting better when when you got catch and shoot or or what like I think what it is is it's hard for them to really test catch and shoot because they catch the ball wait and then shoot I catch it and then let it fly so the way that they're testing that one I I just don't know how how reliable it is. I know that my player shoots way different with catch and shoot, uh, you know, than without it. And I've noticed that from sim maybe that, maybe they're right though. Just having the bad zone gives you the boost, and then maybe maybe going up the goal is a placebo effect. But I don't have nowhere else to put my badge, so I'm gonna leave it on catch and shoot. And then with my shooting center that I just made, I'm going to leave. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it on goal uh, because you know we, we'll see, man. I, I'll play with her and I'm gonna test it out. But I feel like my player shot better with catch and shoot on goal than he had on 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 the other two. And I feel like that Hall of Fame didn't really make a difference. That's why I put, uh, that's why I took it off catch and shoot Hall of Fame and I put it on Rangers still in the Hall of Fame. And I feel like that made a bigger, a bigger difference. But they did say you will see a bigger boost if you're a low shooting bill with corner specialists on higher tiers then you would see, you know, um, you know, anything else. But that's why I leave my corner specialist on goal. Like I said, you guys, you got to do what works for you. Because I have dead eye, corner specialist, catch and shoot. I have everything loaded up to help me hit those corner shots, hot zone hunter, all that. I have everything loaded up for, to help me hit those shots. But a lot of people, you know, hey, you got to shoot the way that you feel, man. So, you know, it is what it is. I wouldn't, I don't take anything that, that anybody says too much as gospel. I just, I, I take the suggestion and then I use what works for me. But uh, one more question for y'all, man. Is NBA 2K dead to y'all? I don't think it's dead to me. A lot of people feel like it's dead, but I think they're, 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 mis, they're misinformed. They think the game is dead because they don't see anybody in the park. But the reason that you don't see people in the park, really, is because there's no rep in the park. The rep is in the wreck. So people are going to the wreck. So all the try hard games, the sweaty games, the the most people that play the game, the most people that are the most adamant about it, that are trying to rep up and make legend or make these tiers, they're playing wreck. 
that's why the park seemed to be a little bit dead. And then, you know, like I said, they still haven't gotten the algorithm ready or right, quite right about how to how to make things work out the right way and get people in the park versus the people that are shopping and stuff like that. It's real hard, man. So that, that that's what I feel like it is at this moment. I don't think the game's dead by any, any stretch of the imagination. If you are a habitual cheeser and that's all you want to do, then maybe it is dead to you. Maybe it is does feel like it's only one way to play the game and all you can do is do the behind the back. But here's a novel idea. Try to play the game a different way and you might have some fun. I have a lot of fun, man. I made a new bill. Um, I'm still team no VC spent after the first one except for the chalk package. And like I said, that's still in the store. Go over there and check out that chalk package. If you're on Xbox, 100,000 VC for 10 bucks? Can't beat it. Anyway, that's all we got for y'all, man, today. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, y'all let me know one more time. The luscious Lala Anthony or the lovely Lauren London? <laughs> Lala Anthony <laughs> or Lauren London? And what did y'all think about the whole the whole uh, Nick Cannon and, and, and uh, Eminem beef? Boy, Clips had a thing. Boy, whoo, he had some lines in that joint. But look at this, though. I mean, the whole thing is over to Mariah from a couple of years ago when uh, I guess Eminem was dating Mariah, blah, blah, blah. And Bridget was like, if it was me and he was trying to talk down on my name, I would hope that if we, even if we weren't together and I was the mother of your child, you would still kind of step up and uh, and kind of check the guy. And, uh, you know, my thing is, is more just check. Hey, look, man, you know, I, I will come to you and do it. But maybe you couldn't get to him and stuff like that. So, you know, it is what it is. Um, I thought that Nick Cannon's verse was was... I, I just think the delivery, because everybody else was in the studio just rapping their verse and doing like that. And if it had been like that for Nick Cannon, then I'd have been cool. But he got on the shades and the hoodie and the and the bandana like somebody think you hard and nobody thinks that you hard at all. So like it, it was like he was trying to pull off a facade that he, you're just incapable of pulling off. Like, hey, he might be the hardest dude in the world. He might be, he might be, you know, the toughest guy on the world. Nick Cannon might knock you out, break your jaw, something like that. But you don't come off like that. That's not your character. Everybody else was in the studio. Pitman was in the studio, you know, all this stuff. So, like, that's why it just came off as corny to me. But it is what it is. Um, They say he got to respond. We're going to see if M respond. Y'all think M going to kill him? Or y'all think uh, Nick Cannon won this round? I don't know. I think Charlie Clips won this round. That's who I think won this round. <laughs> think, I think damn Charlie Clips won this round because he had some... Woo, he had some quotables in that joint. Anyway, I got to get up out. And it was just something light for Clips, too. If y'all know Charlie Clips, that was something light. That was commercial Clips. But anyway, I got to get up out of here, man. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. 1740 is where we at. And I'm going to y'all next time. Till next time on The Morning Show. It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop. BK, the People's Champ. Godspeed.